Hi everyone, thanks for the delay. Sorry for the what am I saying? Sorry for the delay, everyone. Time makes up, but we're here now. Just trying to get Jasper on. Um hopefully Jasper is gonna be there. Sorry, I'm just gonna just try and get Jasper on again. Oh no. Oh, I'm just having some problems getting Jasper on. Might not be. Oh, I'm back. I wonder where you were there for a minute. My internet yeah, just decided not... to drop off, and I was like, oh, no, please. So this, right this is a live live now. So hi everyone. Um, this is Jasper. He's going to be my stand-in for tonight. Um, talking to Justin. So just going to get him on now. Um, so our special guest tonight is, or today, or wherever you are in the world, is Justin Shankaro, My co-host um he's amazing he's been in shows like ear indiana picket fences um hey arnold he voiced harold as you all know um so we're just gonna get him on now and um start the convo because we're late so <laughs> we'll just get, i'll just get him on now okay 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 you should be coming up soon what's Ooh. happening <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? Karen, Jasper. <laughs> I'm good. Hi. I think Jasper. <laughs> My internet's not great right now, but we manage. <laughs> <laughs> You're living in the future. You're in New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, Hello from the future. <laughs> it's, it's not as different as you'd expect, um, but it's good. It's sunny. Here, so <laughs> it's a good start. Cool. <laughs> I heard they have a lot of sheep in New Zealand. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, they've got, I think it's two sheep for every one person, but I don't remember the last time they counted, so it could be different now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see them? <laughs> see them everywhere you go? Yeah, uh, I think most of the country is farmed, so they're pretty much everywhere. Even like, I live in a city and there's one like down the road in someone's garden. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's cool. <laughs> Well, fun. I'm excited to talk to you guys. Let's talk theory. Hey, Arnold, picket fences, anything you want to chat about? And if there are any questions, let's have some fun. Yeah, well, my first question is, obviously, you know, I love your Indiana, and it's like one of my favorite shows from the 90s. So um, I want to know how you, got, how, you got, how you got the part of Simon, like literally how you got the audition for Simon and the process and what that was like, because I want to know. I don't know right from the beginning. I want to know. <laughs> great. great. Yeah, I mean, I remember my agent sent me out for for the audition. I met with um, Dulce, uh, Eric Dawson and Robert Ulrich, who are still very big casting directors in, in L.A. They cast, I mean, a million television shows. And they were the ones that I went to audition for. And then uh, I went for callback after callback and meeting the directors and the producers mm -hmm what's called the money people. Cause that's like the production company that's going to put the money up for a, a television show. And then all the way to the, the network, which was NBC. And when you walk in and you meet the entire network, it's very nerve wracking because at that point it's whittled down. So initially I was probably up against a thousand kids and then it comes all the way down to you and one other person. And you walk into a room and there's like 15 network executives there and they're all wearing suits and they're all kind of very serious. And it's, you know, they make you wait like for an hour to go into the actual room to audition. So it's yeah. very stressful experience. So I remember I did that and, and there were 11 calls that I had to get to that point. 11, Ooh. which is pretty significant. And then uh, my agent called a couple days later and said that they're not sure whether they want to have you. So they're going to re-audition people. So I was like, well, whatever that means. So I didn't hear anything yeah. for an entire month. And then a month later, 
they called and said, hey, we want you to come back to network. So I went again to the NBC, and then finally I got the part. But it was, mm -hmm. it was audition to get Ear Indiana. Wow. Well, I'm so glad they chose you, because I don't think it would have been the same show without you, definitely. Uh, <laughs> I just love the show so much. Um, what was it like? Oh, yeah, what were you going to say? Sorry, I was going to say something. No, I <laughs> long process to get that job and i don't know if people rec realize you know how many auditions actors go on to get yeah. a job sometimes they go on one or two but a lot of yeah. times you any auditions and you don't get paid to go you drive a far distance to go typically as an actor you have to get coaching meaning you're going to meet like a acting coach to prepare for that that costs yeah. you know, good acting coaches are like 150 dollars an hour yeah. um it's you know, it's a big expense, and obviously, you never know where you're going to get the part. But if you do, it can change your life. Definitely, you know, I'm, I'm just like I'm just so happy that you, they choose you, and that you know, you just played the best, Simon. You're just amazing. Please. I was going to ask you, so what was it like um, meeting Omri? And obviously, he was going to be end up being your co-host, of course, that on the show. Um, what was it like meeting Omri for the first time and knowing you're going to work with him? And there was, oh, what was it like? <laughs> Yeah, Omri was great. I mean, right from the get-go, we totally hit it off. He was yeah. awesome. He'd already been pretty successful. He'd worked on, was working on Dallas, which was a famous show at the time. And so he'd had his, he knew how to work on TV as a series regular. This was my first job as a series regular. I'd worked on, you know, other television shows before. Guest star, like Who's the Boss and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and other other hey, Jasper, sorry, yeah. what's up jasper we thought you did the show we thought yeah, you to <laughs> i'm back for good i swear <laughs> uh, to leave you alone for the next like 40 minutes <laughs> no please don't <laughs> uh, so yeah so omri was awesome we we totally hit it off right away he was great because we were the only kind of two kids on the show yeah. Um, and that was, you know, we had a ball. We had a ton of fun. He was fantastic. Oh, cool. And as yeah. you know, um, my favorite episode is obviously uh, 18 Without a Gold, which is yours as well. I don't know, Jasper, do you have a favorite episode of Ear Indiana? Ooh, um, honestly, it's a tough one. I like them all. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, oh me on the spot i never really think about it because i just think of all of them at once uh i do really like hard on a chain yep yeah that that one's kind of more like i don't know it kind of hits heavier like it's a bit more of a dramatic yeah. episode because they're all pretty they're all really cool but they're a little goofy but in like a cool way yeah. that one was kind of deep you know and yeah. it was like yeah. oh <laughs> but um <laughs> no i really like that one it was good but yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I like that one, but I, you know, I didn't have that big of a part in it, so I prefer to like the episodes where I had a bigger part. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> no, I feel that. Look, <laughs> no. know, there's, a, there's a funny, there's a funny oh, phrase. Yeah. There's a funny phrase, um, but it's true, and it's called like you know when actors look at a script, they're like bullshit, 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 my line, bullshit, bullshit, yeah. bullshit my line, my line, bullshit. Bull <laughs> Yo, that's true, though. That's true, though. <laughs> right? We all want a big part yeah. in anything we do. Uh, but no, that yeah. was a fantastic episode. Was that the one that what that Danielle Harris was in? Yeah. Was yeah. 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 And I know Omri and Danielle are still very close. They uh, they just did a, a big convention together. Yeah. So the nice oh, still good friends. Yeah. Cool. That's yeah. Cool. That's She's cool. gone on to become, like, what the scream queen or the horror queen she's had a great oh, career oh, yeah she's done she's done yeah. great so that's awesome yeah, yeah we love it <laughs> is there any so questions you want to ask um justin jasper any questions you want to ask get in there um, <laughs> yeah, i had a couple of um kind of standard ish questions but one of the things that i think about is like so you were on the set a lot and what was the most normal thing that happened on the set? Because it was like a weird show, and that was the whole point. But like, I'm, I'm thinking something must have happened at some point where we're like, wow, this is really just a set. Like something normal but boring but interesting. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, totally. You know, honestly, <laughs> being on set was very normal for us because 
of course, when you watch the show, it's weird and it's eerie and there's smoke. But, you know, when you're on the television set, you're with like 75 other people. You're with the hair and yeah. makeup people. You're with the grips. You're with the director, the de director of photography, the people holding the lights. So when you're, you know, right now, if we were shooting this and we're, you all three of us were together <laughs> sitting on my couch, you know, and the director called action, there'd be 70 other people in this room. Um, so yeah. even though we're, we're making believe what's happening, we're still, you know, we're still <laughs> kind of yeah. when the director calls cut, this is normal. You know, these are normal people. Yes. We're just all making this show together. We all know it's it's not real, but we're pretending it's real. So yeah, it was it was every day was normal to me. Yeah. It's just an interesting concept because, you know, obviously I haven't done any acting, but I can't imagine being able to like switch from doing it to being like, Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna get a coffee now. Like it's interesting <laughs> to think about. <laughs> yeah, most actors are pretty much joking with each other up until the director calls action literally like yeah. breaking character you know just normal and then when action happens then you know you flip into your character you're in that moment talking to the other actors when the director calls cut you're just normal again yeah <laughs> like, it makes sense it makes it's sense because that's obvious. <laughs> when you think if you think about it too hard it just you know <laughs> no interesting yeah it's interesting um, I was when I was working on Picket Fences. Kathy Baker, who played my mom, uh, during the sh during the series run, she went to go do a film with Peter Gallagher, who's a great actor. And she had this really like emotional moment where she had to cry, and it was this tough moment. And she said he was cracking jokes until the director would call action, and it drove her nuts. But I mean, he was great. You know, she loved him. But that's how actors are. You know, they're usually like yeah. poking fun at each other. You know. It, taking the piss out of each other up until the moment of action. And then you do your moment. And then when it's cut, you're back at, you know, doing your, just, just having a good time. I love that. Got to You got to make fun somewhere. Don't you? No, yeah, that's great. Some actors yeah. that, are, that are method actors, right? Some that are mm. very much in character the whole time. Um, but, you know, as my acting teacher would say, that's kind of a bunch of baloney. Uh, because, you know, it's like, what do you need? To, if you're a really, really good actor, you can, you've can you worked on the part enough, you understand the character, that you should be able to flip into it at any moment. And you shouldn't necessarily have to live that character all day and all week. Now, people like Daniel mm -hmm. Day-Lewis would probably disagree with me, and he's obviously a brilliant actor. But I, I kind of feel, I grew up with the Stanislavski method, which is all about using your imagination and you know tapping into what we've already experienced or what you can imagine to experience so i i never like to be on set and be that person all the time or take that person home just prepare prepare work on your character work on it so what you're ready when you're when you're ready you're ready and when you you can shut it off you shut it off awesome. <clears throat> yeah. so like when you Obviously, when you're because you're talking about that, like you must have some like memory bank of all of this work that you've done, just kind of sitting away in the back of your head, right? Well, some of it, like I've gotten a lot of it too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Ago, Eerie, Eerie was was many years ago, but yeah, I mean, I have great memories, you know, being on set and moments and so forth, and you know, mo uh, when I watch old episodes of Eerie, like great, you know, it'll trigger me to remembering certain things that happen on set sure yeah i mean it was great oh that's so cool <laughs> yeah, yeah, else? What yeah. Other is that? um i was thinking i was thinking about <laughs> i was just like on the spot um yeah because only one season of a year indiana which we're all disappointed about i mean obviously there was the other dimension which we don't talk about ever I <laughs> like, know, like, you know, I can only buy it so many times. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen it, Jasper? I saw one episode oh, and, oh. yeah, it was done for me. <laughs> I, I have avoided it because I have heard things. <laughs> yeah. I laugh, it, was just, it was just trash. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but it just was, yeah, wasn't the same. Karen has been, um, you know, such a, a wonderful energy and a wonderful force for trying to bring back Erie because we've been talking about it for years and Karen was like, we got to do a podcast. we got to blast it yeah. out. And I really appreciate Karen. Cause she's just, she's 
leader pushing it forward, which is terrific. But that's the hope <laughs> is to drive the show. You know, the Lionsgate <laughs> owns the rights to the television show. And yeah. I reached out to them and pitched them an idea for uh, rebooting the show with a new, you know, kind of an updated concept. And I know Carl mm. has pay for the original creator. And I know Jose Rivera, the original creator, is very interested in rebooting Erie. So, you know, I think it's really up to us fans of the show to make a, you know, to take a megaphone and let as many <laughs> people know as possible that we yeah. want to bring the show back. And that's what it takes. I mean, you look at a show like if we go all the way back to Family Guy, which has been on forever, right? Seth MacFarlane's show. Yeah. It was canceled mm -hmm. right away. And the yeah. fans are the ones that wrote Fox and said, we want Family Guy to come back. Imagine if Family Guy was only one season. That show's been on here. Brought it back. So cool. you know, they have such huge power. And my hope is that, the you know, us fans of Erie galvanize and let Lionsgate know we want to reboot the show. And that's that's what it's right. going to take to show back. Definitely. Yeah, I, think, I think because of the way media is now, there's so much to choose from. But I think... I think something like Erie would do so well now because there isn't a lot like it anymore, you know, because like, you know, when I when I tell my friends about Erie, the, how I explain it is I was like, oh, it's kind of like, you know, the X-Files uh, mixed with some other thing, but it's for kids. And, and they're like, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> but there's nothing like that now, you know, there is adult like there's X-Files and stuff like that. But I haven't watched anything that gave me the same kind of vibe in like years. So I think there's yeah. a there's a market for it, you know. I agree. I mean, when we were pitching Erie to Lionsgate, which was about two years ago, they said, "Well, Stranger Things is very similar to Erie." <laughs> okay, it's okay. Good. I'm a big Stranger Things fan. I yeah. am. Well, However, I haven't even seen it, so <laughs> I haven't even seen hey, it. So. It's a wonderful show, but it's a completely different kettle of fish. Like it's yeah. it's totally different, and I think that if they gave it a chance, they would realize that. And you'd probably have a lot of fans in common with it because yep. it's the same kind of, you know, eerie yeah. atmosphere. Right. But I think eerie touches a lot more on the different concepts, whereas Stranger Things has one huge running plot, right. which is, you know, cool. But yeah. you could watch one episode of eerie out of order and go, oh, that was awesome. Exactly. And that's the kind of thing that is more interesting because it changes all the time and it keeps you interested. You're right. <laughs> we had you in the room. Jasper, because that, <laughs> exactly, I missed that I missed that point, but you're right on the money. Yeah, Erie was yeah. called a bottle show, and a bottle show means that every episode is encapsulated, so you can miss a few episodes because the storylines don't. You know, it's not like Stranger Things. Yeah, it's not late. It's not a climax. Yeah. Um, every episode is different. Every episode is like a small little movie. Um, so yeah, I mean, look. I hope I hope we can do what we can to bring Erie back, but you explain it very, very well. Sure. We've got to bring the room to pitch it. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, uh, why not, you know? Yeah. I've never done that before, but that's what happens when you're passionate about something. You kind of just, you know, you get good at things. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Your, your passion kind of in, gets infused into whatever you're doing. Yeah, well, that's, that's how me and Justin kind of like met because I ran the Simon Holmes account, the edit account, and yeah. so Justin, contact, Justin contacted me um, asking me to uh, run the eerie photos, which I didn't even know that it was uh, Justin's account. Um, the photos are amazing, my friend, oh, they're just so, so yeah. cool. Um, I, yeah, I mean, there was not a lot of like Simon sort of based things out there on obviously on social media. I think somebody did like a few like Marshall Teller ones, not Simon, but mm. I wanted to do it from Simon's perspective because obviously he's my favorite character on the show. I know that, yeah, I'm awesome. And that's how we ended up meeting, didn't we, as well? Because you started following the Simon account, didn't you, as well? And, um, yeah. and you was an eerie fan, yeah, and you showed me that it was like so cool. So it was, it's just awesome. I think, yeah, because we met on Instagram, but then I think we followed each other on Twitter as well, because yeah. I think it was Twitter. I shared a photo of my tattoo, and then you saw it on Twitter, and then we messaged on Instagram when we were talking about it, and then you were telling me about, you know, all the all the things that were happening, and I'm so happy. Like, this is fantastic opportunity. Yeah. Also, thanks for letting me be here. Wow, this oh, is great. Oh, awesome. Yeah, definitely. But, um, you, have, you have an eerie tattoo? Kind of yeah, you have an eerie tattoo. Yeah, okay. Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> that is so rad. I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing my Stay Weird t-shirt as well. Oh, nice. Nice. That's awesome. It, glo it glows in the dark. Cool. Oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. That is so freaking cool. I love that tattoo. <laughs> it was... um. The reason I got it is because most of all my tattoos are like from my childhood. So I've got some like Digimon tattoos and stuff. But the Eerie one was because um, my mom introduced me to Eerie Indiana because uh, I'm a bit, I'm not super old. I was young, so I didn't around when it came out. So my mom showed it to me because she's got the box set. So she mm -hmm. bought the box set and gave it to me and I was obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just went man, why don't I just get a tattoo of this? Like, why not? Uh huh. And then when, when I told her about it, she was like, you know what? I'm proud of you. And I was like, oh, thanks. So, oh. It was awesome. but, uh, That's yeah, cool. so. To get the tattoo, what was the experience like? It was really cool because it's not very popular here, especially in New Zealand, because New Zealand doesn't have a lot of pop culture like, you know, or, you know, the UK, because it's so much smaller. So a lot of people have no idea what it's about. And it's really funny because I'll go around and if someone recognizes it, it's like, oh, my God, we're besties now. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah, getting it actually done because it was only my third tattoo. I was kind of prepared, but it was actually a lot more painful because it has shading because oh, wow. the sign has all the shading on it. Yeah. And um, yeah, the shading hurts, but it was it was worth it. So that is so <laughs> badass. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. So cool. Thanks. Let me say, and I just think cool. this is so what awesome. We've got such like a small um, community of like Erie fans, and it's so cool. Like even now, just to reach out and meet people. Like obviously Jasper yeah. and Jackie, who did our design work for uh, the account stuff. She's absolutely amazing, and I've met so many cool people. Like obviously running the Simon account and bringing more attention out to the show and stuff. So. That's, just the community um, factor of this has just been amazing. Like just meeting people, like fellow Erie fans, and even new fans as well that I didn't, didn't know about the show. And obviously, yeah. um, like a lot on my TikTok account, um, my edit account on there, there's a lot of people recognize Omri, obviously from August Pocus. They didn't realize he was in Erie. So I'm bringing like a mm. lot of attention, new attention, like, yeah. you know, like, you know, which is what we can say. It's funny <laughs> because everyone always says that. Everyone's like, oh, you know, isn't he the guy from August Pocus? But, I actually saw you yeah. before I saw Hogan Hogan. I, <laughs> I was like, it was Marshall first. It was Marshall first. Like, you know, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's so cool, though. Like, um, <laughs> that people are, like, sort of, like, recognizing it more now. And I just think there's mm. such a niche right now. I think we need, really need to bring it back. Like, I think we just really need to bring it back. Yeah. And just bring a new twist on it, you know, and, you know, maybe make it a bit darker. And just, I don't know. I just think it'd be awesome. Yeah. It'd be really cool. I think the demographic for it originally was kind of like, you know, like young teenagers kind of. Yeah. I think if we made it kind of maybe like a little bit higher level, like 15, yeah. 17, like two, not R rated, obviously, but just like a little bit more edgy. I think it would be a really good idea because, you know, people are enjoying that kind of media now because, you know, with, with life and everything, life's hard, you know, so yeah. people like seeing things can be hard for other people and you can yeah. figure it out kind of stuff. Like, um, you know, it's reassuring. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. I like Justin's on board to come back. I just think he'd make an amazing older Simon Holmes and, you know, yes. Omri's well, on board. It'd be so cool. Like, um, it'd just be amazing just to see their characters develop yeah. now as like grown ups oh. and see You know what would be really cool? Instead of just like a cameo or like a role, would be great if there was like a whole time travel arc. That would be oh, great. Yeah. That would, that would, because if you wow. get it, you get it. And then if you don't, you're like, oh, okay. But like, oh, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> what do you, what oh, do you my see, Jasper, what do you see um, Simon and Marshall doing if we were to bring Erie back? Ooh. Like, you know, like their new characters, like yeah. the younger ones. Mm, I don't know. I never really thought about it. <laughs> I mean, they don't really do a whole lot because they're just kids. Yeah, I'm like, like, I mean. Ma like, Marshall's got a paper route, and that's basically it. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> that's kind of it, really. So but, would, um, they come, would, would there be new kids that would come in, or would you see Simon and Marshall as adults? 
How do you think the new show would go? Oh, right, right, right. I think, yeah, I think starting from scratch would be a really cool idea because it would, it would definitely, like, you know, bring in more people. But I, I, can't, I can't argue. If you give me anything, I'll take it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, this is why, this um, is why Omri and Justin are like, send us. <laughs> I don't care. I don't, I, you know, like, you said. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I would watch it either way. Um, I mean, ideally, we could do both. That would be the best case scenario. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, if we got to see them in, like, as older, them older selves, I think it would be interesting to see what they end up doing. Yeah. Um, because there was there was that episode where Marshall is the milkman and he meets himself in the future. Yeah, and like, that's Yo. Amazing. Yo. Yeah. So that they've already talked about time travel within the show a little bit. Yeah. So I think I don't know. It, mm, That'd be, be interesting to see. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. <laughs> Marshall the milkman. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I remember watching great... that for the first time and I was like, "What?" <laughs> that would be a great way Got to me. open like the new rebooted pilot. Like, you see the milk van coming down the yeah. street, and then Marshall gets out with the milk, drops it off at the front door. Of oh, the my God. Tower that would be the perfect opening. That would be so amazing. Okay. Wow. Is this a podcast or is this a, fu- uh, this is a plot meeting? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is a writer's session. We're figuring this yeah, out this is together. A, definitely. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be so cool, though. That would be, that'd be that'd awesome. That would be, cool. that'd be yeah. so awesome. Oh, wow. I wonder do we, are there, if there are any questions from anybody listening, we're happy to answer them. Um, yeah, let's check see if there's any in the actual, it's none come up there. I don't know if somebody's, yeah, somebody's yeah. asking stuff. Jackie, Jackie's saying we need Jason back as Dash X. No yeah, oh, definitely. We need, to explore, <laughs> we need to explore his character more because – yeah. In a few episodes towards the end, and we just need to know more about the yeah. way it came from what, <laughs> what what's going down with that. Like seriously, I just this, you know, and the marketing too many and everything. And like, yeah, we definitely need to explore his character more. Definitely, yeah, we do. Jason, remember, we we had Jason, Karen, when we did the uh, the Twitter Spaces, the spaces and Jason, yeah. like Jason loved working on Erie too, so. How could you God not work. love working on it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody, everybody says it's just so amazing. Like we had Sherry, didn't we? Like um, on episode three, who was a stand-in for Justin, and yep. she just she loved it so much. Like everybody says that it was just like one of the best experiences, which I can totally understand. Of it was absolutely amazing, just being part of that, just being part of that atmosphere and the people and the set. So just it's so cool. Like, it was. Just, just amazing just to watch it you know and just think i'll oh, just be part of that like it's it's just mad it's like it's such a cool show like i'm so glad that i got into it i'm so glad <laughs> like you know because like i got into it in 93 we got it in 93 um back in the uk on channel four and it's coming up to i think this end of this month 28 years um wow. since it began, yeah on channel four so i'm really excited about that like it was just so cool. And I just remember just sitting in my living room, just watching it like every week. And it was just like, it was just something that just was not like anything else on TV at the time. Like it was just amazing. Mm. And I just was into all that weird and sort of like spooky and scary stuff anyway. So I mean, as, as a kid, I was like obsessed with watching it every week. I just remember memories. I just remember one of the memories I watching the Lost Hour episode. I mean, one came in the living room. At the end credits, you know, because they had the weird, weird end credits. Like, I just love the credits at the end of each episode. Yes. And my mum was like, why is that kid running up and down the stairs over and over again? Like, you know, because Marshall's running up the stairs. <laughs> I just <laughs> remember that so vividly in my mind. And I was like, you know, you, obviously she didn't see the episode because I used to watch them. And uh, I just remember that memory, like, you know, because I remember that. That's one that sticks out for me, that episode. You know, and the, obviously the end credits were just crazy like i just love the end credits it's so weird yeah. and like, i think it was the scary home video home videos episode with the mummy on the uh, surfboard at the end i always remember yeah. the end bits like when i was young i always remember the end credits yeah. it was so crazy i just love them so much like and yeah. the, the other episode i think i remember the most i think was the um i can't remember i think it was the last episode but it's not the last episode um the one that we um the, 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 oh. the record, yeah yeah, you know, I can't remember the name now. It's just literally gone, my, lost my mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
with the record. Um, oh yeah. Back, yeah. Broken record. Oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that one, because um, I don't know if it aired in the US till a couple of years later, did it? I think we got it no. first in the UK. Right. Um, yeah, because isn't there a difference? There's a difference between the DVD release and then the TV release, isn't there? Like, in the order of the, in the episodes? Um, I'm not sure, because I think the DVDs, well, well, my DVD is the same, like, it's, it's, a, it's the last episode, which it isn't the last episode, but you know what I mean, like, I think, because they marked it at the last episode, didn't they, but it isn't, I think the real takes a holiday is the last episode, and that one isn't, because that was filmed, I think, way up, that was been filmed way up before, wasn't it, just in that episode, because obviously you look quite more y younger in that episode, so I don't think, I don't understand why that was cast as the last episode, because it doesn't make oh, any broken, sense to me. Broken record, so actually yeah. Carl told me what happened was the network didn't like, was afraid to air that episode because they felt yeah. like it was about abuse, um, yeah. and so because of that, they... They did not want to air it, and that's why that episode never aired, was because it was considered, you know, somewhat abusive. Yeah. Uh, but then, of course, it, you know, it aired much later. Yeah. It's a cool episode. I, I like the concept of it. It was kind of, kind of weird, but, like, I just knew, I mean, obviously now at my age now, because obviously back then, I didn't realize that it wasn't the last episode, like, you know, and things. I mean, obviously when you see Real Text Out Holiday, as you get older, you realize that obviously that is the proper last Episode, you know, obviously it ends with Dash at the end. Are you like thinking, what's gonna, what's going to happen next now? Like, it's just such a weird... Yeah. It, I just love the episode so much. So that was like a brilliant episode. That was so cool, wasn't it? Like the fourth wall situation. Yeah. So awesome. I just love that so much. Like, I just love that the um, alter... Obviously, like, of, like, when you was young, like, you know, when you was, like, playing, obviously, yourself... Um, to like playing Simon, it's always so funny. But I know that's not obviously really you. I know you exaggerated, it was exaggerated, but yeah, it was just a really hilarious episode. It was fun. It, it was, was so more fun to play that character than Simon. I still can imagine now with your cell phone at that age, you know, stuff like offset. Like. <laughs> <Right. laughs> hilarious. So oh, fun. Well, cool, cool, cool. Um, if there aren't, if there are any more questions, love to stay on, but I got to hop on, hop off in a couple minutes for a call. But, um, okay. we have a couple more people to join and you have any questions about Erie or playing Simon, happy to answer them. Cool. Yeah, for any, other, any other thoughts from you? No, not really. I'm just, I'm just excited about, you know, uh, all the fans coming together and, Trying to make yeah. this a thing. Trying to make this happen. Yes. Uh, I'm definitely yeah. more. I'm definitely more inspired to do more stuff. I I might do more art about it, honestly, because I've been planning to for ages and I yeah. haven't. So yeah. I might get on that. Get on that. I think maybe I could do um, some concept art of like, take a new look at it. Like, I would like to do. I would like to do, Marshall and Simon older. I think that would be yeah. fun. Love that. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'll make because right now, you know, I'm into the NFT space, so I'm all about like profile picks. So like a cool updated Simon, I'll make my profile pick for Twitter. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm doing that today. today. I'm doing that today. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, so that's cool. great. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, excited. That's cool. So cool. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Simon, yeah, because um, Simon, I feel like he's got to still be wearing his little flannel shirt, right? Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I yes. know it's like the darkest thing ever, and it's so cute. Actually, a buddy <laughs> of the NFT space just made. You can't have uh, Simon without flannel, can you? Really? Seriously, you can't. You can't have Simon without flannel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's adorable. <laughs> Cool. To bring flannel back, flannel Wednesdays. Basically, like, like, like Omri said, oh, and said, like, you know, happy on day, flannel Wednesdays. Wednesdays, like, oh my god, I just love flannel. Yeah. Get back oh, it's it. Wednesday today. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I better put oh, my flannel on. Worse, it's still Tuesday where I am. Yeah, oh, so maybe not now. I'm not dressed like, like, for the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Maybe I'll go buy a new flannel today. <laughs> love yeah. it. <laughs> All right, you make the art. I'll make it my profile pic. I love it. That'll be fun. All right. 
Uh, yeah, I'll do that today. <laughs> oh, are you going to make some art for me as well? Because I want to get a new tattoo. And well, I was talking to Jasper, and Jasper's going to do some designs, like some one of a kind designs. So that would definitely be happening this year. So I'll be able to have a new tattoo yeah, too, I'm... which would be awesome. Nice. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because I recently upgraded to, I now have an iPad Air, so it's a lot easier for me to do my art because my software doesn't crash while I'm in the middle of doing it. <laughs> so um, I've been drawing a lot lately, and I've been figuring out how to use it and stuff, so I am very excited to make some new stuff. Oh, Love it. So, with awesome. Yeah. We're all getting eerie tattoos. Yeah, maybe I'll get another one. <laughs> 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 Get ink, get ink, get ink. <laughs> yes. Let's go. We got to get, we got to get, no, um, awesome. we got to get Omri, Jason, Carl, Jose, yeah. and I all to get <laughs> tattoos. Oh, much. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just all get the, um, the same one. Yeah. Just yeah, all get exactly. the sign. The yeah, Indiana yeah, sign. Yeah. With the crow on it. Then when we Let's get the same as mine. Yeah. So I don't yeah. have to get another one. <laughs> Very cool. Full community of same tattoos. <laughs> awesome. One of my one of my favorite things about the tattoo is that because uh, people who don't recognize it, obviously, it looks like it's a place, right? So they go, "Oh, okay," and I'm like, "Oh, I've never been there," <laughs> you know. But um, my favorite thing is with the population, it says one six six six. Yeah. And that's like the best little detail that you don't notice until you go, "Hang on a minute," and you look at it. And I love that so much. But, um, <laughs> yeah. oh, one of my other favorite things about Erie, and I was thinking of doing this as a piece of art or maybe a tattoo for myself, was because um, uh, in, the, in the opening credits, um, Marshall's voiceover talks about how Erie, if you overlap the map with the Bermuda Triangle, it's the same shape. Yes. And I was, that would be a cool piece of art because in the DVD box set, you get like a little tiny map, but it never really shows yeah. you actual aerial view because obviously it's a fictional place but i think it shows you for like two seconds in the opening and i'm like oh maybe i'll mess with this <laughs> um, <laughs> That'd be cool. do, do something fun with that but yeah like that. that's very cool wow i'm looking forward to it all right well i gotta hop but this was super fun jasper so great to meet you karen nice to meet you too I look forward to the art. Let's do it. Everybody, yes. Carmen. I know we had Jackie on earlier. Uh, anybody who was here, thank you for, for coming on and, and listening to us talk about Erie. Let's do it more. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm keen for next time, too. So whenever. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> great. Oh, thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. All right. All right. Well, you in the future. Dead. And we'll see you next thank time. You later. Take care. Bye-bye. See you. Have a good day. See you. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, awesome. Ooh. That was so cool. <laughs> so I love that. Yeah. So, He's so nice. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, I'm just going like, to hop off now. I'm going to like post it on the account. If me and you want to chat yeah. right after I post it out, you can if you want. You know, it would be so cool to so continue to, to chat some more. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, I'll just again, call me back. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. I will. Definitely. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. 